Okay, we're going to look at a FESOL, I don't know if I'm butchering that name or not, but F-E-I-S-O-L, ball head and a monopod. And uh, the model numbers are CM1473 for the monopod and CB50DC for the ball head. I'll put those in the description of the video. But it seems like both are very well made. And as far as professional grade uh, ball head and monopod, uh, these both seem to be very well made and, and affordably priced if you compare it to like enduro tripods and other what I would consider professional grade uh, tripods. This ball head is a little bit overkill for this particular monopod in my opinion. It could have been probably 60% this size and, and been adequate for what, whatever you would put on that uh, monopod. But I was impressed with the monopod in that it is very lightweight and the way the legs are designed, you can have them at two different pitches. So I have them, when, when I'm going to show you here at the end, I have them where the monopod would be as high as possible. So you could use it as a light stand in a pinch. By the way, I learned about this uh, from uh, Jason Lanier. He, he uses a monopod like this. And so this, this can be forced into use as a light stand. It can be used even for a relatively heavy camera. I'm going to show at the end my A7S Mark II with the 85mm G Master lens, which is a pretty heavy lens. And I've got it on this thing, and it seems very stable. Now, you wouldn't want this in an environment where somebody's likely to bump into it because it would be easier for somebody to knock this over than knocking over a regular tripod. But if you want something that's lightweight that can be used as a monopod, and there's some places you go where they will not allow you to bring a tripod, you can probably get by with bringing this because this will operate as a monopod. But then you can swing these legs out and you can use it as a tripod. And you can get pretty good height out of this thing, uh, probably over seven feet. Uh, I don't have it fully extended in this photo. But uh, you can get really nice height, so you can use this for a light stand when you want to bring the light down angle on somebody. So all in all, I think the entire package is well made and relatively affordable for a monopod uh, that can be used as a tripod uh, for this uh, combination. I highly recommend it. I'm going to be playing around with it some more. But hey, let me know how you support your camera. And please subscribe to my channel. Oh, do check out Jason Lanier and all his videos.